How to set up taxes on Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be going through the basic steps that you can take to set up taxes on your Shopify store. Because whether you're selling any type of product or service, you do have to account for taxes and you might have to account for your sales tax. You might want to tax products, you know, depending on the uh, GST, you know, general sales taxes, you might have other types of taxes that apply to your particular state and other tax info that you might not know can be set up on Shopify. So the way that you are going to do this is first off, just open up your Shopify store. Once you open up your Shopify store, you will see product on the left. Now, when you open up any product or whenever you are adding information about any product on Shopify, if you scroll down over here, you have the option to charge taxes on this product. Now, whenever you're setting up taxes on Shopify, you want to make sure that you are actually charging tax on the product. Now, this is going to depend on what type of taxes you set up, but you need to check this option so those taxes are actually applied to the customer when they are checking out. Now, some people like to build tax inclusive pricing, which means that a lot of parts in the world other than the United States you have prices that already include the tax price. So if you're doing tax inclusive pricing, then you don't wanna charge tax separately, but you can still set up taxes on Shopify. The way that you're gonna do this is you're gonna click on settings on the left. Once you click on settings on the left, you will see a lot of different options and there is one direct menu option called taxes and duties. Click on taxes and duties. Now, you can create different shipping zones for the specific regions where you're charging a similar tax amount or the same tax amount. Then within that region, you can manage its tax settings. And if you are unsure whether or not you are liable for taxes, you can check with a tax professional. If you scroll down, there are also some paid applications that allow you to set up taxes. And then you also have global settings. You can choose to include sales tag in the product price and shipping rate. You can charge sales tax on shipping. You can charge VAT on digital goods. Now, one thing to note is that VAT is charged for you European customers. So if you are, you know, operating in the EU, then you want to make sure you are charging VAT for digital goods. So one by one, you're gonna go through all of these taxes and duties. First off, you're gonna choose a region where you want to collect taxes in. So let's say I wanna go into the United States over here. And once you open up that particular shipping region, you will have a Shopify tax. This is the simple 0.3 transaction fee when you reach this many sales. Then you can collect tax in regions where you're liable. You can categorize products for accurate taxing and access data you need to file in each jurisdiction. So you can click on manage over here and this is one of the most basic versions of taxing. This is going to be the highest level of compliance with minimum upkeep, which basically means that every time you earn a dollar off of Shopify, you set aside 30 cents. This is the simplest and easiest way for taxing, which means you're setting aside uh, 30 cents every time you earn a dollar. So this is going to be 0.35 per taxable order when you reach 100,000. Then below that, this is going to be capped at a dollar per order and $5,000 per year. And we'll see that these calculations are based upon buyers or retail locations, precise address. You have advanced reporting and more. Now you also have another um, taxing option where you have basic taxing and manual taxing. You can see basic taxing is a low level of compliance with a considerable amount of upkeep. It's a semi-automated service that relies on your manual tracking and updating to reduce the risk of under or over collection for taxes. This allows you to basically customize how much tax you're going to be collecting and you have to make sure that you are updating this information. So select the tax service that you want to use and you can go back. Then you can click on collect tax where you are liable in. You can go on ahead and you know add those regions. It will actually show you your tax liability. Then you can categorize your product. So you have tax rates and exemptions at the bottom. 
where you will see automatic task management then you had shipping overrides so a certain state or certain areas might have shipping overrides certain products might even have a override so certain products might not be taxable products depending on which state you are located in or which state the customer is located in you can add all of these tax exemptions and tax rates over here then after that you can add the regions you're collecting tax in so i'm going to add alabama over here and you're going to add your id then you can go on ahead and you can start by filing your returns so filed by channel and this will file it directly from shopify you can get your detailed analytical report and you can add every type of all of the states all of the regions that you're collecting tax in then you can click on collected tax reports to see a summarized report of all of the taxes you have collected now once you have set up regional taxes for every region that you are shipping in this is going to be really long if you're doing international shipping and you're going to have variable taxing a lot of the times with international shipping other than the region that you are located in so let's say you're located in the u.s you're going to pay u.s taxes but the taxes that the customer has to pay are usually international taxes and you will leave that to the customer to pay when their package arrives to their destination country that is usually what most stores are doing but you can choose to pay the tax as well but it's going to cost your business a lot more then below that you can see you have duties and import taxes and global settings so i want to include sales taxes in my product prices and shipping rates i want to charge tax on shipping as well and i want to charge vat on digital goods once i have enabled all of these settings i can move forward by clicking on save now you will see a on the bottom in your duties and import the transaction fee is 0.15 or 0.85 if shopify payments is used this is a transactional fee that shopify is cutting and is not a part of your taxes so we're going to go back and once you have created all of this if a customer goes ahead and purchases a product their checkout is going to look a bit different so if i open up my own checkout over here you guys will see this is the product price and including 6.90 in taxes and you can see that this is going to only take my original price and it's not going to increase the price However, if you're selling high ticket products, if your products are large and are costly, the taxable income is also going to be pretty large. So make sure you're putting it in your profit margins, that extra three to 10% you're adding into your profit margin to make sure that your business is going to be long lasting for you and profitable for you. So after you have set all this up, you are now ready to proceed with taxed shopify orders now if you want more help you can go into all recommended apps click on the shopify app store at the bottom and once you do that you can go on ahead and search for tax over here and there are several automation tools available that help you in tax automation you can use any one of these to proceed with your taxable income so I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with setting up taxes on Shopify. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.